Hello? Homemade book binding. This book is approximately 380 pages. Line the paper up. Square. My press. Slide it in, get it in the corner good. Normal C clamps. And you want to dampen your spine. Not soaking wet, just enough to loosen up the paper. So it'll absorb the glue. This is a bind art glue from uh, Bro Dart. Very good. Put quite a bit on. This is the most important part of the gluing process. Make sure that you get your pages well glued so your book don't fall apart. Try not to get it. Uh, try not to let it run down the edges. Paint it across the grain. Make sure you work it in good. Now work your pages. This gets the glue down between. Clean your edge off, both sides. And little homemade clamps. Wax paper. This keeps the glue from sticking to your clamps. You tighten these up, tighten them up evenly, a couple of turns each. Nice and tight. You might want to use a wrench. And take your C clamp off. Another one. There, and let's see what happens in this hanger. And give it about Oh, 25 to 30 minutes to dry and you put on another coat. Okay, it takes five, about five coats of glue. So I do, I usually just put a light coat. I usually do about five of these. Now, pat your glue down. Paint the edges. Important not to let that glue run down over the edge of your pages there. It's a tear when you go to open the book. And just smoothen it out. Alright, I put uh, five uh, coats of glue, let them let each coat dry. Now this is the uh, final coat. And I'm putting a uh, piece of uh, Card stock, strip of card stock in here just to stiffen up the binding with a thin coat of glue. It's just the normal card stock. I cut the same strip width as the book is. And I wet it. Stick to this 
fine. Make sure he's lined up. If I squeeze up as much glue as you can. Here. Now I'll leave that dry overnight and I'll be ready to uh, put the binding tape on tomorrow. Okay, we let these uh, sit overnight, dried up really good. Now we take them over the clamps. Peel off the pair of paper. You can use wax paper, it all looks the same. And just trim off the excess glue with an exacto knife. Be careful not to cut into your book. You don't want that cover page falling off. And then it's 120 grit sanding block just to take the sharp edge off. And it also roughens up that paper. Let's see. Winding tape. Stick there. And a little guide, three eighths for this book. Binding tape. Leave about a quarter of an inch hanging off out over the edge of the book give you for your trimming. That's very easy. Get along the edge of the book. There. Completely bound book. I just usually do a quick bleed through to make sure all my pages are correctly placed. It would be embarrassing for somebody to find a page upside down. Make sure my photos. Yeah. Perfect book. Now this book at the print shop, at a professional print shop, they'll want around fifty dollars to do uh, just a small run of fifty, and which will run you over two thousand dollars. Now I did uh, sixty books here at home. I took them to the UPS store to get the pages all printed, and the total cost is right around eight to nine hundred dollars for the sixty books which would have cost me way over $2,000, so it saves quite a bit of money.